Hello everyone, welcome back to Things I Wish You Knew About Alopecia, video 5. Uh, today we're going to be talking a little about me, um, just some of my experiences and stuff. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching the videos and people who subscribed and all that and good stuff. It's nice to see that people are getting something out of it, even if you haven't got alopecia, it's just maybe you're curious and stuff. Um, Today I'm going to be trying to open up, which is always something I found quite difficult to do, but somehow I found it a lot easier to open up on a video rather than in real life because maybe I don't, maybe it's because I don't have to see everyone's reactions while I'm doing it maybe. So yeah, today's plan is to yeah tell you a little bit about me, what's happened and maybe you'll get something out of it, hopefully, hopefully it's not just me. Um, talking. <laughs> so, I first had, now this is something that came up the other day, I was doing a live stream with uh, Alopecia UK and it's something I actually forgotten. So when I was about 13, 14 in school, I actually had A for a few months. I had like a little ball patch start at the back of my head and it all fell out. And I remember at the time, like, I didn't know what it was and I think I went to the doctors and they said it might be alopecia but I wasn't sure and I remember at school like everyone like you know teasing me and, and taking and making the stuff at the time being like you know what you doing what you doing and and all this and I said it was alopecia and everyone's like no what are you lying for it's not even that like you know just like you know body locks and free hairs and all this kind of crap and all this kind of stuff and I was just thinking like you know every time I had no idea what was going on and I was just like what what is happening and stuff and just people saying stuff and shamefully enough, remember at the time, bear in mind I was a child, so I can allow it a little bit now, but I was like, I ended up being like, no, 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 yeah, it, is, it, it wasn't that, it, it wasn't alopecia, it was just, yeah, it's something I did or whatever. That's something I kind of forgot, something I'd literally like gone completely out of my mind. Um, by the way, I just want to like, little disclaimer, I'm not making this video just to like bum everyone out and be like, oh, you know, this, this is so depressing or whatever else, it's just... It's just something I need to uh, share. Maybe no one cares, but you know, maybe it's good for me to share this kind of stuff. Maybe I should go and speak to a professional rather than you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna do that, but that's another topic for another day, I suppose. But yeah, so I remember that, and that was very crappy. But yeah, my hair came back, and I was like, cool, cool, that's fine. And then I was 17 again, and then my body's like, you know what, right? You've had a little taste. Why do you have a whole thing? <laughs> I got AU and I had AU, oh, I had all my hair come out about three, four weeks. That was a crappy time. I think maybe I should talk about it a little bit. To a couple of highlights come from that point. I think going for a bath and coming out and seeing hair everywhere. I think going out on a night out with my friends was a big thing for me because yeah, like I just turned 18 when it was coming out as well classic timing um yeah so i remember i went on friend uh, i went on friends i went to portugal with my friends and we all had like it was a big bunch of us and we all had long hair and stuff and i remember for some reason like all the guys decided to straighten the hair because like the girls that we were with had brought the hair straighteners and it came to me and I was like, nah, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm cool, 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 cool. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not about that. And I remember like taking hairspray with me on holiday just so I could spray the back to try and hide it, hide the ball patch, which, which was at this point quite big. <laughs> I had quite long hair and it was all back there. And I remember just like, if it was going out on nights out and stuff, I was like spraying it and then just like covering it over the back so no one would see. And yeah, just just like I was literally lying to my friends all the time, which is not nice to do. And lying to people is horrible. And I've done a lot of it in the past, but I think at that point it was very much about self-preservation. I was like, I don't want anyone to know, like, you know, anyone to find out stuff. But yeah, I just remember all those times, I and mean, then it. It started thinning at the front and just hiding it was just getting so so difficult to do um yeah hairspray right good stuff helpful stuff <laughs> um 
But yeah, I think that and when I was at college, when my hair was falling out, I used to play basketball for the college. And I remember this team photo being taken and it was kind of like a far away shot. Like we're all kind of like in a huddle and stuff. And it got put on like the college notice board for like advertising all the different sports teams and stuff. And you could literally see like my hair just falling out the back. It was just, and that, that photo was up like three, three, four years. And I didn't dare say anything to take it down. I didn't. I didn't want to. I didn't want to rock the boat. I didn't want to be like, look, come on, like, I don't want it there. I just, just, I was scared. I suppose scared of telling people that I didn't want it up there, and kind of scared of annoying other people. Maybe I don't know. Um. So yeah, that was up there for a while. That sucked. <laughs> that wasn't good to see. Um. But yeah, just different points, do you know what I mean? Being in school, I think being in education and having alopecia is very difficult and it's something I probably want to cover at some point. But, you know, I only had mine for the last two years I was at college. You know, I was at college for three years. I did a, um, I did like a, a national or whatever because I didn't, I didn't have good grades leaving school and then ended up doing two, year, two, two more years there and I used to play basketball for the college like I said and I remember speaking to my coach at the time who I mean I'd like to say we had a good relationship we you know we got on and stuff but I didn't really like I don't think anyone really I think a couple of the guys kind of opened up about stuff but I was kind of very much when I first started I wasn't very good and I had to prove a lot to earn my spot and um, gonna drop out because and my hair was falling out and I didn't want anyone to see so but yeah I remember going in and asking to speak to him and he was kind of very like what do you want to speak to me for kind of thing like you know I never really shared much with him and went into one of the supply closets and I just took my hat off and I was like yeah look my hair's falling out I don't want to play I don't want to I don't want to be part of a team because people are gonna see and then I remember Next day, hell, we had a talk, and I remember the next day, ten minutes practice, shaved my head, took my hat off, got on the court, and just started running, just started doing drills, and that was my only place of that whole time that I could be myself, and I was myself because, you know, no one gave me crap, everyone was really cool, but yeah, that was. I think I was the only time at college where I was actually myself. And I still didn't tell people. <laughs> I still didn't tell anyone. I'm getting emotional, I don't like it. Um, <clears throat> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Good times, good times. Funny story, when I first started training, I was crap, really bad. Really bad at basketball. I don't know why I took it up. I loved, I loved the game, I loved playing it. And yeah, I had two left feet. I'd like, you know, I was like 16, 17, quite small, like five, five something, size 12 feet, tripping over him. I had no natural skills at basketball and it's something I worked my ass off to prove that I deserved a spot on the team. And I wasn't the best, but I gave it everything. But yeah, just looking back, that was, it's proper weird. I kind of forgot all that stuff. It was like the only time where you know, I go to games, no hat on, just running around a court, going to different colleges, playing basketball, like people just like seeing and stuff. And then the rest of the time when I was like at college doing like lessons and stuff, I'd wear my hat. I wouldn't show anyone. I wouldn't tell anyone about it. Like sport, <laughs> sport, plain and simple is such a powerful thing. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how I've gotten to sport being such a good thing, but it is, it got me, you know, if I didn't have basketball back then, I probably would have quit. I wouldn't have wanted to made big steps. I remember one of my coaches saying to me, like, back in the day, kind of, when you step on the court, you leave everything else in your life behind. You kind of leave all the arguments and disagreements with whatever and whatever other stuff's going on in your life, and you just concentrate on the game. And I think that's a really good kind of 
way of looking at life. Do you know what I mean? It's like if you're going into work or you've or you're speaking to a loved one or something else like that, regardless if you've had a crappy day or something else is going along, just kind of like enjoy the time and focus on what you're doing, if that makes sense. Like, I hope that made sense. In my, in my head, it made sense. Kind of like, if you've got crap going on, but you need to focus on something and someone important, leave all that bad day vibe somewhere else and just focus on that. I really feel like I've gone on a bit of a random tangent here. I, did, I didn't really have too much structure for this video. I just kind of want to give you guys a little bit of a, I don't know. It's difficult opening up, but it's good. And I hope that somebody watching this kind of gets something from it. That's my main aim with doing this. It's my main aim of of making videos is to help other people, I suppose. So yeah, that was college. That was fun. That was good. I remember telling my best mate about my hair falling out. That was a very difficult experience. I was currently doing, at the time I was doing a DCP treatment, which is basically... Um, a treatment where it involves painting steroid solutions on your head and basically to cause different reactions and stuff like that. Um, I did that for a year. It didn't obviously do anything, but it was very painful. If you guys have ever had a blister, I'm sure you know what a blister feels like. Imagine having your head as one entire blister. That's what it used to do to me. I used to have like huge blisters all over my head just to try and get a bit of growth, <laughs> but it didn't work. But, you know, over time, I was like, you know, we'd be going out drinking and stuff that you do when you're 18 and all that kind of stuff. And staying over at his after I'd had my treatment and I was like sleeping in a heart and he was kind of like wondering what was happening and stuff. I knew people knew, like, I know people are not stupid. Like, you know, I had no eyebrows or half an eyebrow missing and all the drunken house party crap stories, which I'd told about that's the reason why again lying about it but you know how many times i went through reverse three to four weeks when my hair was falling out people asking me what happened to my eyebrows and i was like yeah i went to a party weekend someone shaved it haha <laughs> idiots blah 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 such a load of crap um and i'm sure a lot of people were aware and i just kind of convinced myself that nobody knew but anyway i told him about it and it was extremely difficult but it was just like the best reaction from it what is happening today I, this is why i should uh, structure videos 100%. I don't know if I'm going to should put this out. <laughs> so open, so emotional. <laughs> Another good idea for, uh, for a video is telling people, you know, how to do it, what to do, if you should do it, certain times, certain opportunities. Um. Anyway, I'm telling a story here. It's some random... Uh, okay, so college when it was coming out. Um... Yeah, treatment. I did treatment for a year. I did DCP, as I just said. I went every Wednesday for a year. Every single Wednesday for a year. I used to drive like... Hour 15 there. Hour 15 back every Wednesday. To have my treatment. And to be fair, I'm talking 13 years ago. It's a long time ago. Things have changed. There's so many more really good treatments out there. None with a cure at the moment. But as I say, you know, again video ideas, treatments, there's loads out there. If you want really good source of information, if you go on the LPS UK website, if you check out their blog section, there's some really, really cool in-depth articles regarding um, pretty much everything. I read one of the other day about alopecia areata, which is like kind of done in a scientific format, but it's really informative. Even if you don't have alopecia and you just want to maybe make yourself a little bit more familiar about stuff, like maybe you're curious, maybe, I don't know, maybe you've got a family member or maybe you just watch me on this video be like this dude talks a lot of rubbish let's find some scientific um papers on what it's all about kind of thing um so yeah good i will do that i will do some kind of video on that um so yeah that was it's okay the guy the, the doctor guy like i don't want to slam him but i'm gonna slam him a little bit he just literally like after a year's worth of treatment was like it's not coming back literally like that literally like that I was like, dude, come on, you could have, like, given me a little speech, a little pre prep speech at the time. You could have been like, well, Mr. Spencer, you're going to have to try it in here, and blah, 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 and blah, 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 rather than being like, ain't coming back, pal. See you later. I was like, what a so and so. What a so and so. 
Um, yeah, that was sucks. But yeah, after that, I was kind of like, right, well, you know, ain't coming back. Got to crack on, really. Um, obviously, it wasn't like that. <laughs> I just got in the car and was totally accepting of everything that happened and stuff, and I was totally cool. That's the biggest load of rubbish I think that's ever come out of my mouth. Maybe. Some people might argue different. Um, but yeah, maybe I can get into this a bit more. I don't want to spend the whole video. I'm probably going to spend the whole video being emotion and talking about difficult things that happened in the past, and I know that a lot of people have been through a hell of a lot of worse. This is just me, again, trying to share something that's happened to me to maybe, I don't know, give someone a bit of context what it's about, a bit of hope, like, I'm okay. I mean, I'm not okay, okay, but like, do you know what I mean? I'm in a much better place now. I'm much more confident. I mean, if I wasn't confident, I wouldn't be able to make videos like this and put them out on the internet and have everyone who could possibly watch it judge me, comment me and everything else like that. Um, put myself out there. I'm trying to put myself out there more, trying to get involved with more charity work, especially with Alopecia UK doing things, trying to be a bit more of a positive influence. Yeah, just trying to do my bit. But this is the idea behind this channel. I want it to be a bit more just whatever pops into my mind, relating to the subject matter. And maybe someone will get a laugh out of it. Maybe not today's video, because it's a bit sad. But anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed watching. I've now got the joy of going through this and choosing which bit to cut out and keep in. I hope you enjoy it. I'm sorry it's been a bit of a downer, but, you know, opening up a little bit. It's got to be good, right? It's got to be good for me and the soul and maybe some of you guys. Um, hope you enjoy watching. Please, please, please give me a subject matter to cover next week so you don't have to listen to me talk about this kind of stuff for a couple of episodes um but i hope you've enjoyed hope you found it a little bit informative maybe feel like you know me a little bit better maybe i don't know um but yeah thanks so much for watching and yeah i'll see you in the next one